Okay guys and gals, Mr. Westfall here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the different pieces and parts and components of the motherboard. So what I've done is I've removed a motherboard from the system unit and today I'm just gonna basically just point out some pieces and parts, okay? So the first thing I wanna talk about is the CPU or the central processing unit and that resides here on the board. It sits in what is known as the CPU socket, okay? CPU, CPU socket. So the socket allows the CPU to interface with the board and it simply just snaps into the board like, uh, like so, okay? Now that's usually paired with what is known as the heat sink. And a heat sink, basically its job is just to transfer the heat from the CPU to this thing, okay? And you've got a fan blowing on it to keep the CPU cool because as it's doing all its things, calculations, so on and so forth, it gets very hot. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is the north bridge and that resides here on the board and that also has a heat sink. The south bridge chip is here. Sometimes that has a heat sink depending on the model of the motherboard but usually it does not. And then lastly, we've got our ROM read-only memory chip and this stores the system firmware. Okay, so we've got our CPU, Northbridge chip, Southbridge chip, ROM chip, okay? The next thing I wanna talk about is the DIMM, D-I-M-M, -M, memory module slots, and those are here. And that's just basically a fancy word for the RAM slots, the RAM memory slots. So we are able to upgrade our computer by putting four sticks of RAM into our computer. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is our expansion slots and those reside here. One, two, three, four on the board. And the purpose of the expansion slot is to expand the capabilities of the computer system. So if I'm taking a look at the back of my system unit here, you'll notice that it's got slots here in the back and these are removable. I could actually take these little placeholders out. But this is going to allow me to put different types of cards into the system and expand the capabilities of the system. Now the cards plug into one of four of these slots here on the board, okay? Expansion slots. Next thing I wanna talk about is the data cable ports. And those reside here and here on the board. So this one here is the IDE cable port. The IDE cable looks like this. It's typically known as the ribbon cable. And this simply just plugs in. I'm doing this one-handed, so just bear with me. Okay, this plugs in like so. And then this, plug, this end would plug into like a hard drive or something like that. And then we've got four SATA slots up here. So our SATA cable goes like this. Okay, see that? And then this end would go into a hard drive or an optical drive or something like that. Okay, so I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, connectors here at the back. Okay, those would go through and they would show at the rear of your computer like so. Those are connected directly to the motherboard and you know them as ports because that's basically what we plug all of our peripheral devices into. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it. So if you guys have any questions, please ask me. Hopefully this clears up some stuff and hopefully this allows you or enables you to do the lab. Okay, thanks.